In this video, we're going to talk about getting rid of the title field in a SharePoint list or library. If you're a site owner or power user and you've had some experience building your own lists or playing with some of the list apps or document libraries that come with SharePoint out of the box, maybe you've added some columns here and there and you have done a really good job of creating the solution that you need, but you find that the title field sometimes gets in your way and you're not quite sure how to get around it, this is the video for you. Basically, why are we going to do this? The title field sometimes is pointless. Um, it confuses users if it's stuck there and you have put out a list, you're asking them to complete a form, and the form has a box that says title and you can't seem to get rid of it or repurpose it for something else, and you have to put in like a description that says ignore this box and just continue. That doesn't really make much sense. So it really, it just gets in the way. So we can do that pretty easily in here. This is something you can do in pretty much any version of SharePoint out there, 2007, 2010, 2013. SharePoint Online in Office 365. And there are essentially two different ways to do it. The first is to repurpose it, essentially rename it. And the second is to hide it. If you repurpose it, you're going to name it something different and reuse it as another field. You're limited into what you can use it as in SharePoint, but it does give you the option to do that. It also retains functionality. One thing about the title field is that when you look at that in a list or a library, um, or at least in a list, it retains the clickable name and the triple dot, the ellipsis button to open up added details or added functionality. So that's something that you need to consider when you want to do this. Um, repurposing is also the easier option. It's really just renaming the title field to be something else. Or you can hide it. And hiding it basically means that you are making it invisible and unrequiring it. Uh, made up that word there, but it still works in this situation. Uh, it does lose some of that functionality that I mentioned before. You no longer have that clickable title link and you lose the triple dot ellipsis. Of course, you can still always go straight to the ribbon and do an edit item or edit or a view item. Any of those buttons are still available through there. This is also kind of the cleaner option because it really does remove it from everybody's viewpoint. Whereas when you repurpose it, you are repurposing. The title field is not intended to be called something else. The fact that you're changing it is really kind of you, you know, doing God's work and playing, uh, you know, with the tool, not necessarily the way it was intended to. So not that it doesn't work, it does work, but it's just not necessarily the cleanest option out there. So let's do option one is to repurpose. So here's an example list that I created. This is a custom SharePoint list. I called it the volunteer sign up. And you'll note right now that I have a number of columns, title, name, phone, email address, and availability. Now, none of these things seem to get in the way right now, but you'll notice as I go through this process, that the title field is very much in the way because title field is the only field that comes with any custom SharePoint list when you make it. But it does exist in other lists and it also comes in document libraries as well. I can give you the, the real idea here is if I go to click new item, the one thing I don't really care about is title. See, I have no use for this. There's no description. When I'm asking for somebody's name, I have instructions here on what you should do. Same with the phone number, the email address, and the time, uh, the times during the day that these people are available. So this title field is just getting in people's way and I need to get rid of it. So if I go back to my signup list here, the first is to repurpose the title field. So what I can do here is I can actually rename the title field to basically take up the space of any of the other columns that I already have here. So for example, I could have it be the replacement for name, and I think I will do that. The only downside here is if I'm using the name field as a people picker, that's pulling names out of our directory, uh, the title field won't work for that because it's not meant to be a people picker. But in this case, let's just say I want people to type in their name uh, just as a, a single line of text. That's no problem. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I want to get rid of the name field because I'm going to replace the name field with the title field. So let's go into the list settings. And if I scroll down, I can see here are all of my columns. And the first one that I want to look at is name. I'm going to go into name here. You can see it's a single line of text and it has a description. I want to pull this description with me when I go and rename the title field to be name. So I'm going to copy that, which is what I just did. And I'm going to now delete this field. SharePoint's going to ask me if I'm sure about my decision, which I am. And I am back into the settings page now. And what I can go and do is click on the title. I can rename this name. I can paste the description from before. None of the other uh, options here have changed here. It's still the same for here. It's a, it is a single line of text. It's gonna be required information. I'm gonna click okay. So if I go back to my collaboration site here and I choose my volunteer sign up form, 
and let's say I want to add somebody new. Here is my new form, and awesome, I no longer see the title field. So let's say I put a name in here and submit something, and choose a few of the different availability options and submit. I will now see here that I don't see anything related to the title field. And I still retain functionality here where I can click that name. It acts as the title field still brings me to the view. And I also have uh, the drop down option to look at further items. And now the second option is to hide and unrequire the title field in your list. I'm back in my volunteer signup list and it is uh, back in the state that it was in when I first started the earlier demo. So if I click on new item, you're going to have the exact same redundant title field here showing up at the top that I don't want to see. In the previous video, I just replaced title with name, but in this case, I do actually have to uh, do some added background work. And the first thing I have to do is I have to open up basically the, uh, the content type item in this list. If you're not familiar with content types, it's really not important that you know what they are, but you do have to have uh, an awareness of what you're doing and what impact you're going to have. In this case, it's really not going to impact how you work with the list or how anybody else works if they're going to submit things, but you are kind of um, unlocking the content type, which is the item in this case. So anything uh, that, you know, that form, once you submit that form, you now create a new item. You're kind of playing around with what that can be. But to do that, I'm going to jump to list settings advanced settings and toggle this first option allow management of content types that's it don't touch anything else click ok and you'll notice in this section now there's uh, an area called content types I can go in here and click item so this is the only content type in this list right now and it shows me all the columns that are here and available to me so I can actually click the name title and I can make it so that it is hidden and will not appear in forms, which is essentially what I want it to do. So when I click OK now, whenever I go into this list and I submit a new item, it is not going to see uh, display the title field any longer. So if I jump back to my volunteer sign up, go to new item, you'll note that I only see name, phone, address, and availability. So I will fill this out. And the one thing about this, though, you will find out once I submit is you are only changing how this works in the background and uh, <clears throat> how you're going to see it in the forums. Unfortunately, you still have to change the view of the, uh, of the list. Once we submit, you'll see that the title field still exists. So it actually says no title. Um, and in this case, you just have to change the view by going to list, modify view, and unchecking the title option. Now you'll notice here that you no longer have the clickable title and you no longer have the ellipsis available to move on to do any sort of um, uh, higher level actions. However, you can always click the checkbox and go up to the ribbon. When in doubt, hit the ribbon. So I can always view the item, edit the item, share it with somebody else, delete it, attach files, etc. So all that stuff is still available. Moral of the story is that neither of these options is perfect, but they will get you what you want in the end. They will avoid user confusion, and they will make your lists and document libraries cleaner than they were by avoiding the hassle of having that extra title field. So if you found this video helpful, share it with your colleagues, especially your power user friends and your other site owners out there. And be sure to check out all of the content that we have posted both on the website, on YouTube, on social media, etc. And thank you for watching.